Hey everyone, this is Tracy. I wanted to come to you all and give a product review of a product that I stated that I was supposed to be given a product review and I wanted to also talk about another different type of product even though I haven't used that product but I just wanted to share it with you anyways because it might be beneficial to you. But first I want to get started with the product that I never used so that way you all can see it. It is the Perfect Results Wig Control Wig Shampoo. Now the reason for me purchasing this was because I had, I was wearing micro braids with human hair. And when I wanted to wear the micro braids, I wanted it to be to wear that, that hair, you know, that wasn't mine to look the way it needs to look. And which I thought, okay, well, I'm going to go purchase a wig shampoo. Okay, so when I purchased it and used it on my micro braids, they did make my micro braids look fantastic. And I mean, they came out nice, even though I like the wet and wavy hair. So once I washed it and did all I was going to do to it, um, I went on ahead and braided it. Each, you know, braided it up in like about three or four plaques. And then I take it down and it was just pretty and wavy. But this was the shampoo that I had used then. But as far as using any shampoo on this hair, no, I haven't. Like I said, I never... I said in a previous video that I never shampooed this, but I did find out that someone did uh, shampoo theirs, and they said that it came out perfect, which is great. I'm glad to know that, you know, you can shampoo this. I never have did it. So, yeah, so if I was to shampoo this, this is probably what, this is what I would use because it's going, it's geared more to synthetic type hair, okay? And it says it's conditioned, it moisturizes, soften softens and it's held extend the light it help I'm sorry help extend the life of a wig so this would definitely be something I would would be a go-to thing when it comes down to people that likes to wear wigs as well because you know it's a lot of people I call it, like I said this has now became the perfect um, winter style that a person can have. That is the best time. If you don't wear wigs or weaves and stuff, that would be the perfect time to wear, especially when you live in a, client, a, a particular area where the weather gets cold when it's, you know, winter time and it gets real, real cold. This is the perfect thing that really keeps me warm all around my neck and everything. So I'm kind of like, don't even want to take this down, guys. But I, I think after come, after next week, this has to go because the braids are starting to be super duper loose. Um, and, you know, it's just time for it to be redone over. But this is the shampoo that, yeah, I have not washed this with, but I would recommend for you to use this to wash wigs or if your hair is in braids or if you do decide to wash crochet braids or what have you. This, I would say use a wig shampoo because you're guaranteed it also will clean your hair and scalp as well, but it definitely would because most of the time that wig is what people are going to really be seeing it would be best to use a wig shampoo because that way it gives you the look, it, get, it provides what you were looking for. That's what I've been using. I've been using this on my hair like this. And what happens is it does. It leaves the hair. It's for human and synthetic hair, and it softens conditions, and it provides moisture and sheen. And I'm going to have to tell you guys, this do work. This this really works. I, it, it, it don't have it overbound with oils, you know, like the um, Stay So Fro and the Lusters 2-in-1, all those kind of sprays like that that's kind of got a thicker oil base to them. This do not have it. It's more like on a water type consistency. I hope you all can see, but it's. It's really watery. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's, it's like on a watery type side. And once you put it onto the hair, it's like it, it, it's no oil to it at all. None. So I guess I'm pretty sure that all these little ingredients inside of it, well, the first ingredient is water, which you got a whole bunch of parabens and um, glycol. It's got a little glycerin in it, but I can tell you this, even though everybody talk about glycerin, you know, as far as uh, winter time, or whatever, but I really don't care because this ain't, it ain't like it's going on my hair. But even though I've used this and it's cold like it is now, here in Ohio, this is a good good spray and it do provides the sheen and the, the, the neat look that you are looking for. So it was really time for me to um, like take this hair because I was noticing like, I don't know if you, you guys can see it or not when I had my mirror. Okay, but I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but I did have like some little frizzies and let me see if I turn around this way, you know, that was sitting out and I was wanting to go up in there and like do somewhat of like some type of trimming. Um, you know, I was really like checking it out. So I did most of the part that was in the back. I think I really covered all of it to be honest, as far as the part with the scissors. 
on my hair so I can show you guys what it did look like once I did it and maybe hopefully you can see the change or difference but I really love I have to tell you I do love the softness that it gives this hair because this hair kind of feel now it kind of feel like it's dried out kind of like that stiff kind of hard feeling so I'm gonna see if this is gonna take that out but yeah this is I did want to share this with you so I'm gonna go ahead and try to spray this on in and what I usually do is like scrunch it into the curls like that I don't get to torn around with them too much because I don't want to be doing too much manipulation but this is really the act that I do and this little sprayer is so lightweight kind of on the hard side it's kind of like a stiff sprayer it's kind of I think like it's still new a little hardness kind of, and I and just that spray to come all the way back up in order for you to get that full spray And I just flip it like that, and I just scrunches it in. And I don't know if you could tell that that right here on the side here, I had like some frizziness going on. I'm just scrunching that on in, cause I really don't even feel like getting no more scissors to the hair. So I hope that I'm in the light of the mirror. Let me see. Okay, now. And where you guys can see what I am doing. Here it is. So I wanted to show you guys what it's looking like. So I hope that you all probably can see a difference. Maybe, hopefully. Alright. So hoping that you all can see a difference. That it's looking. Alright. So, yeah. So this is really it. So I can tell a little difference. It's like it laid down a lot of the fuzz. And like I said, the hair is softer. And I only sprays it and just scrunch it in as if I'm scrunching in gel. That's it. I don't get the tugging and pulling or none of that. And this is it. And I'm almost at my eighth week. So that will make this two months. I didn't have this in my hair. So you can't say that. It can't be done. It can be done. You just got to... Like I said, the less manipulation you pulling and tangling with that hair, the better it's going to be. And I am proof, and I hope that I have helped those who have had questions or problems about this hair, that it was able to help you. Um, but, yeah, after next week, I will be taking this out, and um, I will be trying to think of some other type of protective style because it's just cold. <laughs> All right, so... Yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys, but I thank you so very much for watching. If there's any comments, questions, post them in the comments section. If this video helped you, please click the thumbs up button so others can be able to view it. And I thank you so much for your time, and I wish you all a blessed and wonderful day. Remember to keep God number one in your heart, your soul, and your mind. So until the next video, have a blessed and wonderful day. Bye.